A deadly tornado touching down in the Texas panhandle, leaving a brutal path of destruction in Perryton. Tornado is just a uh, hundred yards or so right there. Large hail pelted down as the tornado moved through the area. And soon after, a possible second smaller tornado was seen as well. One storm chaser says there was very little warning ahead of this tornado as the funnel cloud formed very quickly. Whenever I was flying around, uh, it looked like people were just having to self-rescue themselves. People were, were climbing out of rubble. Um, you know, there was the fire nearby. As many as 200 homes were destroyed, according to the town's fire chief, and some of those homes were completely leveled, as seen in this aerial video shot in the tornado's aftermath. This whole area is just wide. One nearby resident drove through Perryton in the tornado's wake and documented the damages. There's tanks, oil field tanks. That right there is a, that is a trailer, an oil field trailer. Texas Governor Greg Abbott deploying the state's emergency response resources. The surrounding cities and counties also rushed to the area to provide aid. In neighboring Hansford County, the county judge says they are preparing to assist for a possible mass casualty and or recovery event. The Red Cross is mobilizing teams to offer support on the ground. The local high school is opening its doors to offer shelter to those in need. Uh, I think that there's a, a sense of fear just of the unknown. I don't, I don't think anybody really has any idea what's going to happen next. Um, the, the shock is still sitting, is sitting in, the, the sadness, the anger, the gr every, every emotion that people can be going through, they're going through. The Interim County Hospital CEO says it's operating off generators, which can only last for a little over 72 hours. She says the hospital has treated somewhere between 75 and 100 people with injuries. Anything from minor lacerations to major traumas, head injuries, uh, collapsed lungs, Broken legs, major lacerations, um, a little bit of everything. That was Lucy Kavanaugh reporting for us this